Hi, this is Russ Buecher from Control My Nikon. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can calibrate your white balance within Control My Nikon. And this will allow you to have correct colors in your captured images. I'm currently connected to a D7000 under Windows 7 64 bit. And I'm just going to pop up Live View and take a look at the image here. Uh, here we have just a, a test subject. And right now, I'm using an incandescent light, so auto is not correct, but if I go to incandescent, it gets it pretty close. And if I look at my other settings here, they're not accurate at all. So to ensure that you have the most accurate white balance, even though you already have a preset that's pretty close, you can use a gray or white card and the calibrate button here to get it 100% accurate. So let's give it a try. All we need to do, first of all, is set it to calibrate. So I'll press the calibrate button. And it brings up this window here and then I'll select the preset. Now different types of camera bodies have different preset lists here. On the D7000 you have preset 1 to 5 and some cameras only have a couple of presets that you can pick but you just need to pick one. When we press the start button it's going to calibrate the white balance and store that information in this preset and then it's going to switch the preset so we could see the difference. Now you don't need to have live view on when you do this but I'm going to keep it on here just so you could see the before and after. Now I have a standard gray card here and this is one that uh, this is one of those fold out ones that's spring loaded. It's real tough to fold back and <laughs> to get back to the original size but I'm just going to place it here in the scene under the scene lighting. Okay, so there's a gray card, and as you can see, it just does not render the color correctly at all here on auto. So, now let's try calibrating the white balance based on this card. So I'll click on Start, and it says here it's calibrating. It's basically taken an image of this internally in the body, and is trying to assess the color. So here, you can see how the color has changed. Those changes are now set inside preset 1, and you see it automatically set the preset 1. I'm just going to flip back here to auto and you could see the difference. Back to preset one. There you go. So now when you shut down and control my Nikon and even shut down your camera and then bring it back up later, this calibration data will still be in preset one. So it's very easy to do this by setting your white balance. It makes it a lot easier in your post processing because you'll need minimal color corrections to your image. Now sometimes you'll have a failed calibration. And it, instead of success, it'll say fail here. And the white balance calibration process in the body is very picky. And sometimes you'll put your white card up and it'll just fail for no apparent reason. And the best thing is just to try it again, move the position of the card around a little bit more, change the focus maybe a little bit. And I'm just going to try changing it here. We'll bring up the surface grain of the white balance card. I'm going to give it another try. And that was no problem. Now on the other side of this gray card is a white card, so let's give that a try. I have more problems using a white card than a gray card and that the white seems to be more prone to fail, but let's give it a try anyways. And work this time. Okay, so you can either use the white or the gray card. Uh, it saves a lot of time in post-processing, so give it a try. Thanks for watching.